T.E. Lawrence of Arabia Airport, 10.32 hours, 18th September, 1975. Thank you, sir. Miss Goodbody, is what exactly is happening here? Where, Dr. Groving? Here, Miss Goodbody, I'm desirous of acquiring knowledge of the denouement of the motion picture. Does he get the girl? Yes, but only a leg and a breast. Their plane crashes and they eat each other. Now, will you please fasten your safety belt? Wait just a minute, Miss Goodbody. We have here a problem that is in danger of escalating into an administrative crisis. Where is my diary? I need to know what day it is. You see, Monday was Northern Rhodesia. Northern Ireland. Tuesday was Rhodesia. Yes. Where's my diary? I had it on me when we took off. It has to be here somewhere. My diary. Gentlemen, my diary. I need it. I need it! We're about to land, so will you please sit down and fasten your belt? Thank you, sir. Dr. Gropinger, sir. Once again, sir, will you please sit down and fasten your safety belt? The process of landing has not escaped me, Miss Good Buddy, but I need my diary. I don't know where I am or who I'm supposed to be meeting next. Suffering from an infernal jet lag situation of truly cosmic proportion. Washington, 10.39 hours, 18th September, 1975. White House here. Tell him I'm out. No, no, this is the White House. The Chinese takeaway is 21664. This is 21164. That's okay, we get a lot of their calls. Now, just a minute, just a minute. guy's telling me he didn't know which country he was in. Affirmative, sir. At that moment in time, he was suffering from a jet lag situation. And as of now, he is suffering from a death situation. I mean, that is of now, of course, right? You just said as of now, sir. What? I just said you just said as of now twice already, sir. Don't call me, sir. I'm the president. Now, tell me again, saying Mr. President at the end of the sentence. I only said you just already said as of now twice already, Mr. President. Don't tell me what I just said. But you told me to tell you what I just said. Don't tell me what I just told you to say. Now, what was I saying? You, 
I can't say, sir. Tell me. No, sir. Are you disobeying an order? No, sir. I'm obeying an order. Who's? Who's giving the orders around here? You yes, are, sir. Right. Good. Now we're getting somewhere. Don't call me sir. No, no sir. sir. That's better. Why do they shoot Chuck? You mean Henry, sir? Listen, I employed him. Don't you tell me what to call him. No, sir. No, Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President. That's better. Now, why do they shoot Tim? Um, Chuck, sir. I don't like Chuck anymore. I'm going to call him Arnie. Now, why didn't Arnie know which country he was in? He had lost his diary. But you found it. Negative, sir. Negative, sir. You found a negative. I was speaking in the negative. You found it. He was speaking in the negative too, Mr. President. You were speaking to me in the negative. Now what? hold it right there. There is a photograph of you speaking to me and the negative was in Arnie's diary. Now this is serious. No, it isn't, Mr. President. Why not? It doesn't matter, sir. It doesn't matter, Mr. President. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter, Mr. Mr. President. President. Why are you telling me all this? I am a busy man. I am the president of this great country. Yes, sir. Well, it's like this, sir. We found this, Mr. President. It's very precious, sir. It's our only piece of evidence as of this moment in time. So far as of yet. We're having it tested for fingerprints later. Uh -huh. Today, groping her. Tomorrow, the world. Moriarty. It has a London postmark, sir. Sir! Now, as I understand the situation, We have got an international crisis situation on our hands here. No, his widow isn't going to make trouble. She has money of her own. Good. That's good. That's very, very good. Fine. Yes, sir. Get on the first plane to London, France. I want you to get on top of the situation. I want an every hour, on the hour, situation report from you. Affirmative, Mr. President. Sir. That's my boy. <laughs> London, England, tea time, 19th September, 1975. We have to accept a rethink of a whole new methodology to probe out the ongoing reevaluation of the potential situation. To seek out an overly acceptable situation, which is not only fundamentally a low profile as of now, but also operative at this time in a potential let sleeping dogs lie situation. And the ongoing ballpark options make the whole goddamn shebang as of now okay in our book at this moment in time. Right on, comrade. If we don't make Moriarty inoperative as of now, it's an end of civilization as we know its situation. Thank you, Mr. Klein. Now, does anyone object if I continue in English? No? Oh, good. <laughs> we're now getting down to brass tacks and we'll stop uh, beating about the bush and with no shilly-shallying. The point is that this, uh, this Mori, uh, Moriarty uh, has given us five days to give him control of the world as we know it. And believe me, gentlemen, it's no idle threat. Viz groping her. Now, look, wait a moment. Who the jumping wallabies does this Moriarty Drongo think he is? <laughs> I mean, are we going to take him seriously? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> yes, well, I think that's answered his question. Miss Hoskins? Yes, Charles. Sir. 
the task. Inform New Scotland Yard and ring for some more tea. There's a, a, a sniper in the um, big uh, thing. Uh, you can uh, you can come out now, gentlemen. What? Oh dear. Oh, as of now, at this moment in time, we are uh, in a getting out from under the table situation, Mr. Klein. I'm glad to hear that, Chief Superintendent. This is not the work of the real late great Professor Moriarty. He been down dead these damn 75 years, Buana. We've got a point there, Dr. Schmidt. Ask the computer if Moriarty is still alive, Miss Oski. Yes, sir. I don't know what we do without these marvelous machines. It says no. Well then, gentlemen, in that case, I suggest that we get... What's it saying now? It says you didn't say thank you. Yeah, well, tell it thank you and ask it if there really is a Moriarty. Who's the program this bloody machine? Barbara Cartman. We have the way with the computers in my country. That's more like it. Ask it which Moriarty it is. Miss Hoskins? Now, Mr. Computer Sonny Boy, sir, you just tell us how we deal with this present-day Moriarty rapscallion. I think this is a job for the Chief Commissioner. And I think that we have got all the answers we need from this electric stool pigeon. appointment with Mr. Holmes, Chief Commissioner Blocker of the Yard. Go right in, sir. Mr. Holmes should be back in a moment now. Yes, it certainly is. Oh, I love leather. Oh, you wouldn't care for some of our grand royal African special selection. No, thank you. Mr. Holmes's favorite. Oh, sit yourself down, sir. He'll be back in a wee while. You're hurting my... Oh. 
Holmes. 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 I warn you, my friend. I shan't hesitate to use this. I don't move. Holmes. Yeah, but this is Harry. Well, tell him to wait, will you? Can't you see I'm on a case? That's your vanity, you brick! Oh, Harry! Pull yourself together! The cheek of me is a Scotland jar again, Annie! Uh, yes, thank you, Mrs. Hudson. That'll be all. And get up! I pressed those trousers yesterday. Uh, that'll be all, Mrs. Hudson. Thank you so much. That'll be all! <laughs> my dear sir, I... Uh, pray forgive my rather uh, unorthodox reading. I uh, fear I took you for an intruder. Are you fully recovered? Oh, oh I was somewhat shaken, Holmes, but uh, got to you, stupid bastard. Well, tit for tat, eh, Holmes? Hmm? Quite, 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 quite. Fair dues, Commissioner Pax. Oh, and pray be seated. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> Would you forgive me for one moment if I moaned? Certainly. Oh, oh, oh. Now, perhaps you would be so kind as to tell me what the good fortune I owe the pleasure of this visit. You moaned, sir? It's nothing, thank you, Mrs. Hudson. You wouldn't care for some of your special sniffing salts? Uh, that'll be all, thank you, Mrs. Hudson. Incidentally, Commissioner, I assume you are here as the emissary of a personage so eminent that his identity must remain a secret even to me. The Prime Minister himself? Exactly. And on a matter of the gravest national importance, which has baffled the finest minds of the police forces of five continents and a failure to find a rapid solution which will plunge this country into the most desperately perilous situation. Exactly. <sighs> Sounds pretty straightforward. Would you care for some tea? Oh, thank you. Uh, you wouldn't care for something a little more illegal? Uh, no, not while I'm on duty, sir. Quite, quite. Oh, incidentally, you may be interested to know that uh, this matter concerns a descendant of your grandfather's most notorious enemy. Moriarty! Holmes! Holmes! Cooey! I'm home! Oh, good afternoon. Yes, good Lord. Are you looking for something, Holmes? No, I am not looking for something, Watson. Good Lord. Good Lord. You're bleeding. You're all right. Just a gas, Watson. Just a gaping wound. Good Lord. Uh, Commissioner, may I introduce my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson, a grandson of the celebrated... Oh, how do you do, Dr. Watson? How do you do, Commissioner? What cinema do you work in? What? Um, <laughs> if you cut yourself shaving, you should have some sellotape on that. I am a doctor, you know. Uh, the Commissioner of Police is about to outline a case for us, Watson. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> It concerns none other than the infamous Professor Moriarty. Moriarty? Watson, uh, l let me explain, sir. That devil? Watson. I thought he was dead, Holmes. He is Watson. Good Lord. Thank heavens. Huh. Well, we soon thought of that one out, didn't we, Holmes? You may speak freely in front of Dr. Watson, Commissioner. He is my most trusted friend and associate. Besides that, he understands very little. See? Yes. You've, uh, no doubt read, Mr. Holmes. Good Lord. Uh, read in the uh, newspapers. Great Scott. Of certain mysterious incidents. The unexpected but accurate bisecting of the Belgian foreign minister, the Royal College of Needlework massacre, the strange affair of the seven boiled bishops, and the man-eating poodles of Lambeth Palace enigma. No. Good Lord. Just as I thought. No, I'm referring to the mysterious shooting of Dr. Gropinger. We believe this to be the work of one man. Good Lord. Shut up. Certainly. Yeah. This is all we have to go on. Found in Dr. Gropinger's play. My God. Where? Here. Oh. Why? <laughs> So Moriarty has given civilization, as we know it, five days to live. How do you know that? It says so here. Amazing. 
You never cease to astound me. Look, our computer says that this Moriarty is the sole surviving relative of the professor. Now there is to be a meeting at the yard within the hour. Will you be the host? I shall, Commissioner. With Dr. Watson, of course. Oh. He's not a brain box, Commissioner, but he's loyal, trustworthy, and brave as a lion. Also, he's partly bionic. Bionic? Just his nose and his legs. But if there's any tracking to be done, he's our man. Right. Good day, Holmes. Good day, Commissioner. Right, Watson. The chase is on and the game's afoot. I've seen this before in the Middle East. Cough it up, you'll soon feel better. Better afternoon, you know. It's all right, I'm a doctor, you know. Watson, look! Good Lord. He's been stabbed. How did you know that? He's got a knife stick in his back, hasn't he? Amazing. Your powers of deduction never cease to astound me. It hasn't penetrated far, though. He'll live all right. Good show. The assailant must... Wait here, Watson. Your tea, Dr. Watson. Oh. Laura, Laura, what is going on here? Cut the coon talk, Mrs. Hudson. We've got a stabbing on our hands. Good Lord. That's exactly what I said. My very words, in fact. Is he dead? No, no, no. I'll just... Uh... <laughs> there. But that'll kill him. What? If you pull the knife out, you allow the hemorrhaging to start. Good Lord. She's right. It's for your own good, old man. Don't worry. I am a doctor, you know. Oh! Oh! Hello? Hello? Oh, hello, Watson. I'm a bit better, I hope, Holmes. He's taken a turn for the worse, I'm afraid. Terribly ill. In fact, he's so desperately ill, he's dead. The knife was removed and then reinserted in an attempt to stop the hemorrhaging caused by its removal. The second insertion is the cause of death. Good Lord. How do you know that? I was watching you, you bird. I could not believe my eyes. I have to work with this. I mean, I leave you here for 20 seconds with the top policeman in Britain and you kill him! England, London, the 10.52 hours, September 20th, 1975. Yes, please. Two to Scotland Yard, please. What do you mean, two? What about him? Who? Him? No, no, no. This is a parcel. No, no, man. The passenger in the brown paper suit. No, it's a parcel, believe you me. Hey, you in there? Come out and pay your fare like a man, man. It may look like a man, but in actual fact, it isn't. Then what it is? But it's brown paper wrapped around something. What? sort of model of the Chief Commissioner of Scotland Yard. And it doesn't work anymore, so I'm taking it back. I'm going to inspect this model of yours.
right. Three to Scotland Yard. Wait a moment. He am dead. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll pay for him. He am dead. So, he goes under the stairs because he am a parcel. <laughs> what? That's two to Scotland Yard. <laughs> and it shows up respect to the parcel. Now, just a minute, Honky. I run this bus, you know. I can do anything I like, you know. I can throw you all off. I can put you under these tears. I can kill you with my beer hands if I have to. Holmes! Holmes! Hey, you! No smoking on the lower deck. It's all right, Conductor. It's not tobacco. Hey, hey. You got the certain substances in there, eh? Lord, you should be off the front with him. 10.59 hours, September 20th, 1975. New England Yard, Scotland, London. Gentlemen, oh. now gentlemen, uh, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson will be with us in a moment. Now the uh, purpose of this meeting is to agree upon a plan. A plan which will enable us to move against Moriarty. And remember gentlemen, this fiend will stop at nothing. Too true, Blake. Too true. Your suggestions, gentlemen. I suggest we do nothing. 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 Nothing? Exactly. We all know this madman. This international bedbag will stop at nothing. So if we do nothing, perhaps he will stop at it. Clever. Very clever. Now wait a moment. You mean he won't stop at anything, so if we do anything, it's not going to stop him? On the button. Aye. That's good, you cunning old lebo, you. Now, now, gentlemen, please, order, order. It's an old trick, Superintendent, but it might just work. Yes, I, 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 I think you're all uh, taking me too literally. I mean, please, expose flaw in argument. Uh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, he will stop at nothing. So, if we do some. No, no, that can't be right. If we do something, he won't stop. So we do absolutely nothing. Wait, 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 wait. How will he know we are doing nothing? We'll announce it at a press conference. But he'll never believe us. On the other hand, if we announce we're doing something, he may suspect we're lying and stop. Sounds pretty good to me. Yes. Uh, deal with this. Would you want some have this gone ahead? Yes. <clears throat> Tell the Commissioner's Secretary that he's back from lunch and wants to go down to forensics. What does he want to go down there? I think he fancies having a bit of a post-mortem. Yes? Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson, sir. Oh, show them in, please. Gentlemen. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, Mr. Holmes, can I introduce a few tongue of Peking? Hello,你好吗？你贵姓啊？哦，我姓高，我是姓傅。啊，这个是我的朋友，我陈陈陈。啊，华生先生是你的朋友啊？No,Judith Klein of the FBI。Yes,yes,very good。And superintendent McLenn
Could one of you possibly tell them they were furious about the first one? Help! Look, he's trapped! Help! Help! Holmes! So he is, quite right. Help! Help! Superintendent, you've got to do something about that sniper. Are you panicking, Clive? Panicking? He's been out there for six hours. Rome wasn't built in a day, Clive. Man, you've got to do something. Oh, very well. Well, we're very busy today. The Queen's got one of her lunches on. One of her lunches? I've never seen such incredible incompetence. Such typically pretty. Are oh, you listening to me? Are oh, you listening to me? Oh, no. I'll hold that anyway. Going through it's like a dose of salt, isn't it? Yes, well, I suggest we agree a plan where there are still some of us left. A good idea, Holmes. How about a convention to which we invite all the world's most distinguished detectives? It would be a dreadful temptation to try and kill all of them off at one fell swoop. Steady on, Holmes. You wouldn't really try to do that, would you? No, no, I wouldn't, Watson, no. But Moriarty would. Good Lord, you're right. He would too, the devil. And when he makes his first move? Carlton Hotel, England, Surrey. 1639 hours, 22nd September 1975. The last day before the end of civilization as we know it. Sorry about the length of this caption, but it is the last one. Excusez-moi. Je m'appelle Hercule Poirot. Dr. Watson. I prepared it myself. I put something in it for the inner man. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Watson. Oh, Mr. Hercules Parrot has just arrived. I made him comfortable. Good show. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. That's rather good. Whatever did you slip in it? A drambuie, washing soda, and a TCP. It's an old tiling sheep deep press. Really? I was making mm. note of that till my doctor in the morning. Mm. Oh! oh. Holmes! We're over here! Goeep! Holmes! I say, here we are! I say! Penny Moriarty has this place under surveillance, Watson. Good Lord, yes, of course. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? It's a disguise, Watson. Really? By Jove, so it is. It's very good, isn't it, Mrs. Hudson? I'm not sure. Who's it supposed to be, sir? It's uh, supposed don't, to... don't tell us. Let's guess. Oh, would it be Prince Philip, sir? Well, at least you got the nationality right, Mrs. Hudson. Is it a man, Holmes? Of course it's a man, Watson!
I've got it. It's you. No, it is not me. It is Kojak. Where? Yeah, yeah. Who loves you, baby? Eh, hey, Watson? Eh? Hey? Kojak. Oh, Kojak. The camera people. I didn't know they were Greek. No, no, Mrs. Hudson, a Kojak, a detective from television. Oh. Well, I hope you didn't pay a lot of money for it, sir. It's not terribly convincing. Well, it was the only one they had left. Well, I'd take it back if I were you, sir. It's a disgrace. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Hudson. That'll not be all. to be ashamed. Charging people good money for trash like that. Thank you, Mrs. Hudson. That'll so be all. Wicked. Be quiet, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, you Would you poor we don't, don't, saw you don't. fighting don't. sweet. Would you, a baby. Would you just, just, oh, just go and tell me when all the guests have arrived, will you please, Mrs. Hudson? Oh. And they can send men to the moon. You get a typical London pea soup here, Your Grace. <laughs> Lieutenant Colombo, have it fixed and get my wife to pick it up, will you? <laughs> Terrific. They won't all be here for a while, Watson. We'll wait upstairs. Right, Joe, that's good. Holmes, brilliant. What? Your idea of going upstairs? Brilliant. <laughs> Keep ticking over, Miss Money Package. Stay cool, M baby. It's only 4.53. Quick, Watson, get a crossword. There are several moments to lose. Yes, sir. I say, Holmes. Do you really think Moriarty will come? Of course. Do you think he could resist a challenge like this, Watson? Mm. What's he going to look like? We don't know, Watson. We just don't know. He could come as any one of them. Steve McGarrett here. Patch me through Wi Fi all. Hello here, Steve. Hello, Donna. I've arrived safely in Limey Land. Over. And out. Steve, speak to me, Steve. He's a master of disguise, Watson. I'll bet he is too, the devil. There's just one way to recognize him. He has an unmistakable high-pitched laugh. I heard it once in the Odeon at Kabul. Good Lord. Well, how are you going to get him to laugh? I have an emergency joke here, prepared for me by the special branch. It's what they call a solid gold woofer. Mm. Give me a clue, Watson. I don't know any solid gold woofers. No, 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 from the crossword. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. One across. A simple source of citrus fruit. One, five and four. A lemon tree, my dear Watson. A what? A lemon tree, my dear Watson. I'm down there, sweetheart. That's me. Oh, Mr. Soames Spode. Let's call a spade a spade. Okay, boys. Is this the end of the line for you? That's terrible. That is the worst impersonation of me I have ever seen. Nice shooting, Watson, baby. You lousy mimic, you. Two down. Conservative pays ex-wife maintenance, seven and four. Alimony. Alimony Tory, my dear Watson. Never cease to astound me. This way, Mr. Parrott. Merci. Who's a pretty boy then? <coughs> Three down, Southern California style. One, two, Eight. Mm. A la Monterey, my dear Watson. 
Very good, Hal. Oh. Mr. James Bond? No. Not any of them? No, I met him. I felt it was time that I had some of the action. Are you licensed to be killed? I don't think they said anything about that. Well, we just have to risk it, won't we? Action. Four down. Burglar's entrance. Five and five. Alarm entry, my dear Watson. It's rather poor, isn't it, Ham? And you are? McLeod's the name. Dr. Watson, I presume. Correct. Now then, where can I park my horse? Right, one to go. A cardinal fish with a sting in its tail. Yellow manta ray, my dear Watson. Brilliant, Hill. B-R-I-L-L-T. Right, that's the lot. <laughs> Think I'll just pop down and see if they've all arrived. There you go. After yourself. There you go, Mr. Clown. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. I'm terribly sorry, but your face looks awfully familiar. You didn't sit next to me at school, did you? I've got it. It's Watson, isn't it? It does ring a bell. Dr. Watson. How do you do, Doctor? Well, 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 well. Good Lord. Ah, oh, hello, you two. There you are. Hello, Holmes. Hello, Holmes. <laughs> I believe you know, Dr. Watson. Arthur Sherlock Holmes, Bill Watson. How do you do? Hello, Holmes. You know Dr. Watson, obviously. Eighteen years, actually. Same as us. Gentlemen, I shall come straight to the heart of the matter. Prepare yourselves for a shock. And only one of you is Dr. Watson. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. No, don't start that. I'm sorry, Holmes. No. Good Lord. Stop it. Sorry, Holmes. So, one of you is Watson. But which? We could be twins. <laughs> what? Well, supposing we were twins, we, we'd both be Watson then. Have you got a twin, Watson? No. But he might have. But if, if he had a twin, it couldn't be you, could it? Why not? Because you'd know. How? Because you'd be him. Good Lord. So I would. So, one of you is an imposter. Is it me? What? Am I the imposter? You mean you don't know? No. You're the detective, Holmes. Well, I haven't worked it out yet. Well, how am I supposed to know, then? Because if you're the imposter, you're imposting. And if you're not imposting, you're not. I mean, how can anything be simpler than that? It's beyond me. Right, so. Leave it to him. He'll sort it out. Very well. Why do the Arabs have all the oil, and the Irish, all the potatoes? I don't know, Holmes. Why do, Why the, do Arabs the Arabs have, have all the oil, oil and the, the Irish, Irish all the potatoes? potatoes? Because the Irish had first pick. Don't the Arabs like potatoes? What? Uh, no, no, the Irish had the first pick. Oh, I see. They used the pick to dig out the potato. No, no, they had the first choice. Uh, a choice between them. Why was the choice between the Arabs and the Irish? What happened to good old England? No, the choice was between the oil and the potatoes. Oh, I see. You mean if the Irish had chosen both, they could have cooked potatoes in the oil? Well, that's clever. 
No, uh, look, the, the Arabs and the Irish, right, had a choice, but oh, forget it, forget it, it's hopeless, hopeless, forget it, it doesn't matter. Wait, I have an idea. You know the engraved meerschaum the Shah Persia presented to me? <laughs> oh, that really is funny. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> now that is funny, Holmes. <laughs> it's not a joke, it's a question. Oh. Now, where do I keep it? You, in the secret compartment at the back of the second drawer in your writing desk. You? Uh, with the potatoes? I did use that. That you are the imposter. And you the real Watson. Oh, thank goodness. You're a clever swine, Holmes. From you, that's a compliment. But Holmes, how did you know that I was the real Watson? Because you're so sodding dim. So consistently, relentlessly, almost magically half-witted. Oh, I see. My dear, that's clever. But if I'm the real Watson, hands up, gentlemen. Or I'll be forced to decorate this lobby with your entrails. Mrs. Hudson. Exactly, Watson. You mean you knew all the time? Since 1964? Oh, yes. Then tell me, Mr. Clever Dick Smart, I like to know it all, Holmes. Why did you let me slaughter all of them? Nobody likes competition, Mrs. Hudson. <laughs> That's right. Least of all, me. <laughs> But no, the moment of reckoning has arrived. What moment of reckoning, Mrs. Hudson? Why? Because, Watson, Mrs. Hudson is really Francine Moriarty, granddaughter of the infamous professor. Right, Mrs. Hudson? Spot on, Holmesy, baby. American? Move! God, Mrs. Hudson, you're beautiful. Astounding. Better than elementary, my dear Watson. And now... Oh, no, no, Mrs. Hudson, you wouldn't. Yes, I would, Dr. Watson. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. She did, Holmes. Yes, she did. Now, give me that gun, Mrs. Hudson, before you hurt somebody. She already has, Holmes. Somebody important, Watson. Oh, is she? Get back, Holmes! I've got something to tell you before you die. When my grandfather lay drowning at the foot of Reichenbach, is that a Reichenbach? Reichenbach. Reichenbach Falls. I swore to him then that I would never rest till the last trace of the Holmeses was wiped from the face of the earth. I can understand that. But why must you destroy civilization? as we know it, as well. It runs in the family. So it's come to this after all these years, Mrs. Hudson. You think sustaining that dumb Scottish accent was fun? Adios. Thank you, Mrs. Hudson, that'll be all. You're fired, Mrs. Hudson. Man's Moriarty to you, you limey schmeal. Give me that gun. Uh-uh. I said, give me that gun. I'm going to count to three. One. Two. Three. Not really. 
You see, Ms. Moriarty, what you don't know is that before we left for this convention, I told Watson here to fill your pistol with blanks. Didn't I, Watson? You did, Holmes. Suffering catfish. And Holmes. And so you see, the tables are turned. Holmes. Quiet, Watson. It is we, the Holmeses, who have triumphed over the Moriarty's. Holmes. Final retribution will be made. I forgot. The last trace of your evil breed will be extirpated from this planet. And decent people will be able to lie abed at nights. What did you say? I forgot to change the bullets. You forgot? But after all, there was a lot to do. Look at that. Look at it. I know. I'm awful sorry, Holmes. Sorry? Oh, you're sorry? Oh, he says he's sorry. He's sorry. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Nothing to worry about then, am I? Not if you're sorry. Dio! Pillock! Ciao for now, Holmes, sweet Holmes. If you'll forgive me, I have to destroy civilization as we know it. <laughs> Apologize. Watson, she's forgotten something. What? Your bionic bits. She... Quick! The wig! Ah. Oh. Don't think it's going to be quite my size. No, no, no. smell it! Oh. oh. Go! Get her, boy! Spot on. Oh, it'll be nice being dead. I'll be able to get a few things done. Oh. Watson fractured his skull. Will Holmes really die? Will Francine Moriarty escape unharmed and succeed in her plan to destroy civilization as we know it? Yes. Oh. <laughs>